Now there's sightings all over the city. There are people out there that need our help. We can provide a real service. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh. Did you want to? Sorry. sorry. I'll let you. I'll let you. Next time. Okay. Hi guys. Hi. Um, since Freaks and Geeks, you've professed your love for the Ghostbuster franchise and the performers of the Ghostbuster franchise as, mm -hmm. as comedians. So it was very well known that Dan Aykroyd and Bill Murray were, you know, kind of not com not that convinced of, of keep the franchise going. Right. Uh, how difficult was it? And then with the passing of Harold Ramis to take again this and pay the respect that you have for it. Well, it was, I mean, Ivan Reitman was the one who called me first about, about doing it. And originally when he thought it was going to be a sequel and they'd had a script. I was worried about, since it's been so many years, about doing it that way. And I, I thought I'd rather see like a new team. It was when I was called by Amy Pascal at Sony, I, I pitched her the idea of doing it with funny funny women and, and rebooting it. And she, she loved it. Melissa, there's a, a huge historical weight on this franchise and the actors that we were talking about. How do you feel being part of it? And do you think now that you have seen the final product uh, that it will work that way also for you? When I, I just recently saw the final, final version and I was so wildly proud of it. I thought like that's the movie as, a, as someone who loves the originals, that's the movie I wanted it to be. And also having like, having everybody from the first movie be so behind it. As we were talking, you did Freaks and Geeks, then you did Bridesmaids, then The Hit, and all those films, I think, and, and the series, have a very important uh, character-driven thing on them. How did you manage to, to get all that character-driven uh, approach in this film, given it's, uh, it's an action film and it's a comedy film? Well, you, you have to face every project, no matter how big it is, as the characters first. That's the only thing that matters. The characters are what you come up with first and then you kind of create the story around the characters. Because you can have all the special effects, you can have all the giant action, all that, but if you're not engaged with those people in it, then it just becomes spectacle and you just sit there and you get bored. Your, your character is, is the believer of the, of the the group, yeah. uh, and Kristen's character is not a believer, she's a scientist, she's, she's like a very skeptic. Uh, do you think that it's important nowadays to have that duality of characters because people are so cynical and not easy to impress right now? I think so, and I think it's real life. I think, I think when people come together, I mean, Kristen's character is the one who, you know, when she was younger actually had an encounter with the ghost but she just couldn't take people kind of making fun of her and teasing her anymore, so she pushed it away. My character's never seen a ghost, but just has a feeling in her gut that she knows it's the right thing. And I think to show that these people, that you can be so different from people, and yet you can still come to be, come together and be better together than apart, I think is, one, makes for a great story, and two, I think it's kind of a tremendous thing to put out in the world. You have props and you have uh, like actual sets, does that help uh, working with actual sets and not depending on CGI and blue screens? Yeah, I yes. mean, I, I, it, it, you can just see the performance and them having something to act with make, makes all the difference. Yeah, and to have like so many, I mean, Paul, we talked about it before we started shooting that I said, are we going to be talking to tennis balls? <laughs> like, I don't know, I don't know how to do that. Like, it's going to seem strange. And he said, no, 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 we're going to have people in there and then on the day I, I didn't even expect this until I saw it it's like people were in those ghosts were there they were in full co like amazing costumes to act with that and to react to the, you know the, that chasing you down a, a subway hmm. is uh, I mean I think you can just tell in visually how they look but also in our reactions like we ran fast <laughs> <laughs> we did not want to, uh, that ghost to get us well thank you very much guys. thank you